Well, you know, you probably have already received an email from SMS Resources that uh, indicates it is the credentials email. And it's fairly plain and simple. Uh, inside that email, you've got four areas that are in large type. Only two of them are actually going to be something you're going to be concerned with as you enter your program into the SiteLink system. That would be your 32-character account key and your dedicated long code, which at this point in time is a temporary 904 number. Uh, it is referred to in SiteLink's page as the user ID. So you'll want to open up your system and then actually get to your setup page for text messaging. All right, and to get there, we're going to go to Company. So you may be in the Operations screen, screen to start. You'd click on Company and then Setup. And then on the right-hand side, you will go down to SMS Texting. You'll look for SMS Resources, LLC. Click on the Setup button. And then we have our account key and sender ID. So once again, the account key is your 32-character account key. It's strongly suggested that you copy it from the email and paste it in. The reason, of course, is either visual acuity or sometimes manual dexterity lead to some problems in that transcription. If you copy and paste, there really can be no mistake. Now, in your credentials ID, uh, it actually is telling you uh, it is your dedicated long code, which is a temporary, as I mentioned before, a 904 number. It is a phone number, but this sender ID line requires you to enter it as 10 characters only. No dots, no dashes, no hyphens, no parens. Once you've got those two entered, you're virtually home free. You would want to go down below to the left there and hit verify account credentials. Very rarely will you get an indication that you have to redo something. And if you do, most times the simplest cure is to simply recopy and paste the account ID and re-enter the 10-digit sender ID, which of course is your dedicated long code. Once you've got a verification that your credentials are good, you're going to want to move down to the next area called send test message. Now, mobile country code, well, it's just like making a long distance call from anywhere in the United States to anywhere else in the United States. Your mobile country code is one. Then the next box to the right, which asks for a mobile number, well, you're going to want to send a message to either your own cell phone or an associate's cell phone who's in the room with you because you're going to want to know that it was sent and then it was received. So after you have those two filled in, you're going to want to hit the button on the far left in that same area, send your test message. Now, it should take virtually just seconds for your test message to hit that target cell phone. Now you know that you're in. And actually, this is the end of this section. So after you receive that test message, you're actually knowing that the system works for you and you're in. What you want to do then is go down to the bottom of this big box, hit that green OK check mark, and that actually concludes this section of your training.